Hey everyone, quick update for our guide on dual screen setups for Citra on Steam Deck. We put up our initial setup guide a few months ago, in which we recommended editing Citra's configuration files to manually set a resolution for both screens to stretch properly across two screens at once. It was a bit convoluted, but the only real way to properly stretch the 3DS's screens across two displays at the time. Luckily, that's no longer the case. In newer Citra builds, you should be able to click View, Screen Layout, Separate Windows to literally split the displays across two windows, which you can actually drag and drop between whatever screens you want. From there, you can even right-click on the window headers and set them to full screen for full immersion. The screens even scale appropriately, which is pretty fantastic. The only real downside is that the latest update initially wiped my controller settings. If that happens to you, don't panic. I'd recommend just going back into the configure menu and remapping your Steam Deck controller. You could set the controller through Steam settings, but I found that to be a bit hit or miss. With mapping directly in the app being just the easier option overall. One final thing. If you followed our previous guide and altered your own configuration files, or have been doing some tweaking of your own, you might want to restore the file to its original settings from when you downloaded Citra initially. Before I reset my files, the separate windows were a bit out of whack and didn't want to scale properly. I figure that's probably due to me manually setting everything and each window trying to just adjust to my custom settings. The same should be true even if you're using our mobile setup guide. Just still remember to manually set the resolutions for your second screen as well. Let us know down in the comments if the easier setup makes you more likely to try dual screen 3DS emulation on your Steam Deck. For other consoles like DS and Wii U emulation, our previous guides should still be accurate. If that happens to change at all, expect to see an update to be pinned both on that video and on this one. Okay, that's all for this video. Until next time, catch you later.